Welcome to the Collective Arcana, a channel all about tabletop gaming. Today I just wanted to talk about 3D printing minis. More so about the process after they're printed rather than how to print them. There's some really great channels out there on how to set up your printer and your software. One of my favorite channels is called 3D Printed Tabletop, so I recommend checking his channel out. He's got a lot of great advice. I use an Ender 3 which is a relatively cheap printer. I think I got it for just a little over $200. I actually used to work in the 3D printing industry for a couple of years, and I can tell you that the quality of this printer is amazing for the price that it is. The resolution is pretty impressive on it. So here I've got a couple of examples I'm gonna talk about, and I know what you're thinking. What the crap is most of that? So I just wanna start with um, what you do know, which is the beholder because I have a couple of these printed already in different stages. So when it first comes off the printer, it looks like this. I have a lot of stringing. I have a lot to learn with the settings on the printer, but I'll need to check out some channels on how to calibrate that. But as far as the actual print goes, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I will say removing these supports is a pain. Here's what I've already taken the supports off of. Uh, I used some Milliput to smooth out some of the rougher areas where the supports were and to cover up some layer lines. Um, so you can see even though I had all that stringing and, and not the perfect settings, it still came out really well. Uh, I will say the supports inside of the mouth were a nightmare, but it was worth all the effort to get it cleaned up. And I've printed a couple of these because I want to paint them in different colors. So here's the two stages. And here's one that I finished. I'm really happy with how he came out. Uh, it did take longer to prep him than it did to paint him. <laughs> but I think he came out great. This is a file I got from a website called My Mini Factory, which I haven't been on a ton, but we were a little picky about the beholder options that were already out there. So we wanted to find one that we liked better, a sculpt that we liked better. This one was $3 I think we paid for it and uh, sometimes I think it's worth paying for a quality file but Thinkiverse has a ton of really great sculpts on there so always check that out first and if you don't see exactly what you're looking for uh, there, there are also some paid options I think that a lot of people forget about. This is one that I did in kind of a hurry so I used the lowest quality um, print settings because I wanted it to print as fast as possible. And I was really impressed with how it came out. Just a little bit of sanding and threw some paint on him and I think it looks pretty good. He had a bad day, but you know, not bad for a 3D print. So here's another one I did a couple of weeks ago. She was an NPC in one of our games. Um, she's on the middle setting, so I could have done it in higher quality or lower quality, but I was printing the same day as we were playing, so and I had to paint her and everything, so um, I still think she came out really great. I like how her tail came, but her arms didn't print because she's so small. And that is something you might run into when you're 3D printing your minis. So what I had to do with her was actually print her arms separate and glue them on. And even then, they, they came out really wonky. <laughs> so I had to kind of sculpt some, some spots in there with the Milliput. So because she was an NPC, I didn't worried too much about detailing her face and the flaws in her arms. She was just for for show really. It wasn't even for combat. Uh, question most asked, what the crap is that? This is Jimmy the Snake. We're actually going to do a whole video on him. He's actually a PC in one of our games so uh, we're going to do a video on him later with um, the guy who plays him. Hopefully later this week actually so he can explain what the crap this is. And yeah, that's a unicorn horn. He's evolved over the game so he's actually had four minis now and that's the cool thing about 3d printing is you can add parts and cut parts off so this original mini didn't even have uh, arms so i printed some dragon arms up and scaled those down and again with the back here i just used milli putt to really cover up the layer lines where they were kind of rough and i actually printed her because she happens to be jimmy's mom second most asked question what the crap is that this is the Hunter, who will also be getting a video, and he is 3D printed from, let's see, an octopus, a dire ape, uh, some kind of cave bat, 
I'll put the the files in the description in case you're curious. Um, and then the spider legs up here are just wire and hot glue. Um, he was so fun to put together. Oh, and I'm sorry. Also a skeleton mask with fangs. He nearly killed us. He was pretty fun to make and he looks so cool and I know he's the only one that exists so uh, I highly encourage just chopping up STL files and printing parts and putting them together because you're going to have some monsters that your players just do not see coming. <laughs> I had nightmares about this guy. He's pretty great. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like, a subscribe, comment below. It would really help us out. And as always, welcome to the collective and we hope to see you next time.